talking. So tell me about your friend that we think was killed by Jerry Starr. Michelle Ruby. She was a daughter, a sister, an aunt. She was one of Jerry Starr's girls. He, he had her strung out on just about everything. He beat her. She proved running back to her mom. And one day she just came up with me. And she was missing for a while. Jerry started did some terrible things to her when she was alive. She loved him for whatever reason. Ruby loved him. And he'd beat her, feed her dope, lock her in closets, dog kennels, not let him out to go potty. Mm -hmm. They. He'd lock him in the, he'd lock her in that closet and just break her will. Mm -hmm. Damn nothing. Keep her strung out on crap, tweaking. Mm -hmm. Whatever dope made her made her numb is what he fed her. Yeah. Do you know why she or none of the other girls like ever tried to go to the police for help? Yeah, you're going to go to a cop and tell him, excuse me, my pimp's beating me and feeding me dope. What well, cop's going to help you? They're going to arrest you. Mm -hmm. Problem is, is that, you know, a working girl goes in to ask for help against their, their pimp. They get in trouble and then they're sent back out with nothing again. In the same situation to deal with the same person, him, and he was the one bailing them out, yeah, or sending one of the other girls to bail them out. Mm -hmm. That he'd be right there in the car. Mm -hmm. So either way, I mean, the minute they walked out of that jail, he was right there. Yeah. So when they found Ruby torso, they found it floating up into the inlet. Um, there's no way to identify her. I mean, there was a tattoo and they tried running it through the police database and there was no hit. They couldn't fingerprint her. They couldn't do footprints. They couldn't even do dental imprints because all that floated up was just her torso. Mm -hmm. So You know, it was all over the news and they tried really hard and then somebody came up with the fact that it looked like a gel tap and so they took it up to Highland, a picture of the tattoo and they passed around the picture. Somebody recognized it as Ruby's and um, They ran her working name through the database and found out it was Michelle. And they notified Ruth. It almost killed Ruth. Was that her mom? Yeah, it's her mom. And they have yet to recover her arms, her legs, and her head. Mm -hmm. But the whole time, Jerry Starr was there, right there, holding her hand, telling her, we'll make it through this. It's okay. And Ruth thought Jerry was innocent of everything until one day she was smacked with the truth of what he did to his girls. Mm -hmm. Tortured him, beat him, fed him dope. And... This is the same man that carried a fetus in a jar, in his proof case. And if one of his girls came up pregnant, he beat them till they lose it. 
And then the suspicion turned to him. That was the last person that was with Michelle. Mm -hmm. And when Jerry was charged in court for, he was like 46 different charges, they still didn't have enough evidence to charge him with Michelle's murder. Mm -hmm. So her murder is still unsolved, but everybody knows Jerry killed her. Yeah, I remember like 10 years, yeah, like 10 years ago when I was asking people like, what agency should I work for? What agency is that? People were like, stay away from Jerry Starr. He killed those girls. Okay. So everybody's known it for so long. Oh, yeah. Everybody that knew Jerry knew he did that. It was right up his alley. Mm -hmm. I mean, he threatened these girls to do this. Yeah, I heard that at the same time he was, like, running around with her mom, he was telling other girls if they tried to leave, they would end up like those torsos. Mm -hmm. And her torso wasn't the only torso found, though. There was another torso found. Mm -hmm. So, and it happened to be another working girl of Jerry's. Yeah, that's right, right? Yeah. Um, so, what do you think, like for people that are making laws and wanting to like not have people like Jerry Starr in Alaska or to have the woman like come forward and go to the police right away and not wait until people get killed, what would need to happen for that to happen? First of all, stop looking at us like we are asking for it by being in the industry, just because we work in the industry.